this custom ROM is based on Android 15, not Android 16. So it might be the last update based on Android 15, but it's so good now. More stability, a lot of features already there. And of course, some useful things are also included. We are talking about project Matrix. The version I'm using right now is 11.8, which is based on Android 15. Android 16 is coming very soon with this custom ROM. But for now, because it's based on Android 15, which other things included? First of all, as it is the last update, as far as I know, so definitely more stability you can expect because Android 16 is here. So 15 is obviously looking quite stable. It's based on CR Droid. So the features, customizations are getting there. You are getting that here too. But one of the amazing things in this update is the strong integrity by default. If you're able to notice three green ticks and also another thing, if you're able to notice, I'm using Magisk in this case. So three green ticks and I'm using Magisk no modules installed this is by default so that's actually quite good let me try to download another android app just to show you how about the bootloader spoofing if it is spoofed or not because all these things are by default yes it has the option to spoof those things by using key box and some modules of course but this is by default i haven't used any module i haven't tried out anything else in this case you just notice bootloader is locked but if you move on to miscellaneous options, you will notice we have the option for Keybox XML. We have the option for PIF, which is Play Integrity Fix JSON File and so on. All these things are already present in this case. So definitely you can try it out on a device in case you want to. What about other options? What about other spoofing options? The device has been actually spoofed to Google Pixel 10 Pro XL. And when you install this thing and set up your Google account, you'll see the email. You will get the email for sure because you're getting a new device and so on. But everything else is just similar, like hiding the screen capture status, hiding the developer options, hiding app list and so on. All those things are present in this case too. So that's obviously quite amazing. Including this one, what else we have in this case? We have a lot of other options. We have the option for free form window, which means you can use some apps in multitasking, basically in multi window, also floating window, you can say the option to customize the sidebar, not major options, but you have the option to choose the sidebar with themed icons, the same options present with C Android also. And obviously one amazing thing named as quick switch. So you can switch between the matrix launcher or pixel launcher. Matrix launcher is based on the quick step launcher, which brings you similar options and customizations and pixel launcher. You already know about that. If you want to use pixel launcher, you can. It has a lot of features too, but it's not for everyone. Matrix launcher is obviously something different. It also brings you this power of verification option. When a device is locked, you'll need to use your password to power off or restart. And this is a very, very useful thing. And it is now available. It is now part of many other custom rooms also. Definitely, it's not a unique feature. But, and I guess it's ported from nothing OS. But it is literally so useful thing. So make sure to enable this thing for sure on your device after installing this custom room. What else we have in this custom room? Brings you a lot of features, a lot of customizations. It's based on CR Droid. So customizations which you're getting in CR Droid are already present in this case. But you can say this is an upgraded version of CR Droid. So which brings you a lot of extra things. I mean, UI changes and more features than CR Droid. Better UI, obviously. Uh, what about quick settings panel? Quick settings panel has the ability to use Android 11 style quick setting tiles. Because with Android 16, things are being changed. So we'll see how the things will go on but with android 15 things are still quite amazing you can, you can adjust the rows and columns you can adjust some other things animations uh, status bar customizations are also there which brings you the option for the status bar action chip quite underrated feature because i used it from some time now it's actually so useful in many scenarios extra padding options already there this is what all about we have notification options similar ones we have the option to customize the heads up notifications everything else seems to be same one in this case if you move on to sound options same options are there you can simply disable the screenshot sound and also make sure to enable the in call vibration option that's actually so useful what about other things buttons kind of same only power menu tweaks which i just shown you and else is just same so yes this is what we have all about a project matrix the latest and the last version most likely based on android 15 if you want to check this out, links are available in the description. This is it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.